good morning to all uh, today's my uh, talk on arduino ide installation process and uh, the general purpose input and output programs that is a session 9 of the fundamentals of iot and sensors course here the main aim of uh, my session is every student uh, will get the complete concepts of a arduino ide installation process and as well as the uh, general purpose input and output programs here we have a two objectives the first objective of my session is to learn the complete concepts of a Arduino integrated development environment and its installation process. The second objective of this session is how to write the general purpose input and output programs. After completion of my session, every student can able to understand and install the Arduino IDE software and as well as how to write the or how to start the programming skill. So I will start the actual session. So Arduino IDE uh, generally which is a open source software we can use this software to write and upload the code into Arduino board uh, generally the same IDE or Arduino IDE software supports the simple programming languages such as the C and C++ and if we want to install the Arduino IDE, we can install in our systems or the laptops. Whatever the programs we are writing in Arduino IDE, usually we used to call the sketches and these sketches are, are written in the editor window only. So basically the Arduino IDE which is a completely open source software we can download it from the Google within a simplest way and it takes minimum few months of time only. Now here you see the complete uh, setup of the Arduino that is the complete uh, physical piece of hardware the second one is the complete the programming environment we can see the third one is a community and philosophy means the completely inbuilt uh, Arduino now how to install the Arduino IDE in our windows or in our laptops so every one of you search the the latest version Arduino IDE in Google and here I have given the link also by click on this link Every one of you see the size of a your Arduino means you can download and uh, save it uh, either the 32 bit or the 64 bit means whether your laptop or system e supports either the 32 bit or 64 bit uh, depends on the supporting bit you can download it 
So click on that uh, link and download the zip file. Once you have downloaded the zip file completely, extract it uh, and uh, save it in any preferred directory. Choice is yours. Whether if you want to save it in desktop or the C drive or D drive or E drive, choice yours with some preferable file name. Once you have extracted and save it in a preferred directory, then every one of we see the that iconic symbol of the Arduino. Once we see this iconic symbol of Arduino, then we can say, yeah, that Arduino is completely installed in your laptop or in our windows. So that is the way to install the Arduino IDE software within your systems. It is a very simple process, hardly it takes three to four minutes of time only. So once we install Arduino IDE software within our system, later on here I will give you how to write the Arduino code, there is a programming code. See here I am giving my complete uh, explanation on LED blinking using Arduino Uno. Here if you want to perform this experiment, here we need a Arduino board, a single LED, jumper wires, a single resistor, breadboard, and uh, the programming uh, cable usually we call the USB cable. Here if we want to perform the single LED to blink, we know the operations of a light emitting diode that is which is a completely a output component should have a two terminals the negative terminal and positive terminal, negative which is connected to the ground and the positive which is connect, connecting to any one digital pin of your Arduino. Okay. And you see here in Arduino programming everywhere there is a two important uh, syntaxes like wide setup and void loop. So in void setup, uh, every one of you declare that whether your device or component which is connected to the Arduino or not or whether your device input and output is connected exactly or not, you can declare it here. But whereas the void loop second part, here you write the program completely where your program should execute repeatedly or continuously. These two syntaxes are compulsory required to run the Arduino program. See before the void setup, here there is a one more important uh, declaration as INT, that is integer because LED will display either 1 or 0 means integer value that is why every one of you declare integer value int. Here I have taken my LED as a single LED that is why I have written LED 1 and here my LED which is connected to the 13th pin of Arduino the 13th pin is a digital pin only because the LED is a completely the family of the 
digital component okay. and see after the void setup then here we have one more important functionality as the pin mode so means pin mode means our led is connected to which pin pin and mode mode means generally which is connected from the output or connected to the input already i told you led is the completely glowing either on or off mean which is connected from the arduino means the led is taking the signal from the arduino means is a complete the family of output that is pin mode is 13 comma output and see you can see the first declaration part and second de declaration part everywhere there is a semicolon means after completion of each line of a arduino then we need to represent semicolon compulsory and after the wide loop our led generally should glow on and off whether your led is that should be in the on position then you write one more important uh, functionality for on condition is digital write where the same led is connected to the single digital pin as a 13 and as well as that is glowing means high semicolon and where our led is glowing from on to off generally there is something delay time then you can represent delay of something time either choice is 100 nanoseconds or thousands so once the led is glowing from high to low or 1 to 0 again there is a one more important uh, statement is same digital right for the zero condition low again the same led is connected to the digital pin 13 low so means the digital right high to low which shows the complete functionality of a led again there is something delay in between so finally the programming skill is a very important to perform the arduino experiments now the second program is now see that is a complete environment of the led blinking using arduino is a environment only means we are writing the program in that environment only once we install the arduino and the second program is here the sequentially turn on and off the led using arduino see the second program is in line with the first program where the second program here we have taken three leds symbolically led 1 led 2 and led 3 all these three leds are connected to three different uh, uh, digital pins of arduino that is 11th pin 12th pin and 13th pin and after the void setup uh, part we need to represent the functionality that the pin mode of a three different pins and which are connected from the arduino means our leds complete the part of the output later on one more important uh, statement is a void loop after the void loop we have a three different leds which are connected to the three different uh, digital pins 11 12 and 13 which are glow from high to low during uh, and again it takes some time so for example here the you can see the first led the bit which is connected the 13th pin which is on to off with some duration in the second program i have represented initially the on conditions of a three leds later on the off conditions of three leds that is the complete way of 
Arduino programming. Or that is, I have given you is how to write the a basic fundamental programs by using Arduino Uno. Thank you.